So one of the first lenses you should consider buying is a 50 millimeter prime lens. One, because they're really cheap. I'll give you a few more reasons in a moment. So the one that we're gonna take a look at today is the Youngno 50 millimeter F1.8 prime lens. Now you've got to really consider what you're getting for your money. So let's take a look at the specs. It's an autofocus and manual focus lens, minimum aperture of f22, minimum focus distance of 0.45. In the package, what you find is you get one times Youngno EF mount 50 millimeter lens. It's f.8 autofocus lens. It has the front and rear lens caps along with a one times 50 millimeter lens lid and one times instruction manual. So let's take a look at this ultra cheap lens and see if it's worth the £60 saving over the Canon equivalent 50mm prime. Just like the Canon it has a plastic housing, the body of the Youngno does feel to be a slightly inferior to that of the Canon but that can be expected looking at the uh, £60 saving that you would make. But it's a relatively fine line and in no way does the Youngno lens have that ultra cheap pound shop plastic feeling. The exterior case of the lens is all plastic and it has this rubberized focus ring that's not the smoothest to operate as you can see but it does function quite well. It is a little bit clunky and if you shake the lens you can feel the glass rattling around but the focus ring works and it's got a stop on both ends. The STM autofocus found on Canon's current version is much more superior and there is no doubt about that. The autofocus found on the Youngno lens in my testing, while it may work, yes it definitely works, but in no way is it good for anything, especially when shooting video as the slightest movement of the subject or product results in a 5 to 6 second autofocus time, maybe even longer in low light situations. That said, low light performance is handled remarkably well, myself never having to go over the 250 ISO mark for what I do. Oh, let's not forget that noise. The cumbersome motor sounds like it's having a bad day every day. The STM focus on Canon is by far not only quicker, but is also much quieter. As you're watching this video, just remember that I am no photography expert. I genuinely just know what I like. So when I was shooting at the full f1.8, it gave a nice sharp image most of the time. Now bear in mind this doesn't have any stabilisation, so you will have to use this on a tripod. Now it's quite apparent that when it comes to the corners, there is a little loss in pixel count, and some of the shots that I took, as far as I was aware, the image looked clear on the LCD, but when you blow it up on a PC, you notice that the centre of the image at times can be quite soft soft. I leave it for you guys to judge. Let me know in the comments below what you think and if this is something that you might buy. So guys until next time thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.